What's going on, TTC? It's Nick. Uh, I hope y'all like the new setup I got behind me. So, I'm just going to do a... It's a Texas Tech schedule video, but I'm just doing the Big 12, uh, the conference schedule, just because I got the information with me. So, away we go. They start off the conference season against Texas at home. Um, the game's probably going to... That game's going to be amped up for sure. Uh, I want to give Texas Tech the win because they are playing at home. And here's why I think they can win. Uh, Texas is returning four offensive starters and six defensive starters. They Don't get me wrong, Texas does have talent, but not near what they had last year when they were competing in the national championship. And Texas fans... Uh, I know there are going to be some haters. There are haters in every video. The Texas fans, uh, I want to know what y'all think your team's going to do this year because honestly, I see them going nine and three. Or no, not nine and three. Just they're not they're not going to win a national championship. They're not going to go to a national championship. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't play for the Big Twelve championship. Uh, like I said, they do have a lot of talent, but I think Tech can pull it off. So, we'll give them a, we'll give Tech a win there. So, moving on to Iowa State, going through the magazine. All right, Iowa State last year they did, wow, they did way better than I thought they did last year. Seven and six, uh, three and five in conference play, predicted to go uh, six in the Big Twelve North. Not a surprise. Iowa State, mm, I don't know. Iowa State hasn't given Tech. Hasn't given Tech trouble in the past, so I like to think uh, Tech can pull this off, but there's always a room for an upset, I guess. You can't go into any game really expecting too, too much from your team. I do expect them to win this game pretty solidly, but uh, wouldn't be surprised to give them to actually blow out a, a Iowa State, but they do play that game on the road. That's always, that's always easier for a team that's an underdog to play at home, uh, just because you get the home crowd behind you, obviously. But I think Tech can pull that game off. Uh, and then they play Baylor in Dallas. Baylor, I'd, you'd be surprised. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little nervous about this game just because of Robert Griffin. I know you can't really base your team off one player. Uh, Robert Griffin definitely hurt us the year that he did play against us. He is coming off an ACL injury, so uh, interested to see how. I know he's been working hard uh, trying to get better, obviously, but uh, interested to see how he's going to respond with uh, actual contact and everything in a full swing of a game. But uh, ba like I said, Baylor has given us trouble in the past. Or not trouble. They've threatened. They haven't actually beat us in a while. But past couple of years, it's been a little scary. So uh, I think Texas Tech can pull this game off. Uh, Texas Tech, they have more talent than people think. Uh, they. I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. Just look at look at what they do. I mean, I'm expecting. Uh, I'm expecting probably ten and two, nine and three, somewhere around there. Uh, Interested to see what uh, Tommy Tuberville can bring to the team, what uh, the new offensive and defensive coordinators can bring. Uh, I know Tech's transitioning to the 3-4, which I've mentioned in previous videos. Uh, that's always a tough transition to uh, go through, but I think Tech could pull it off. They got the talent. They got the linebackers in the line to make that transition kind of work. Uh, I expect uh, them to have a pretty big year, like I said. But back to the schedule video. Uh, then they play against Oklahoma State at home. Uh, Oklahoma State is, let's see, this magazine's so unorganized. Okay, Oklahoma State. They're returning two offensive starters. Uh, Oklahoma State could be in for a rough year. They're predicted to finish uh, fifth in the Big 12 South. So... It could be in for a bit of a rough year. Definitely not where they were last year with Zach Robinson. Des Bryant didn't even play um, because of the NCAA stuff. But I think Tech can pull this game off. Uh, wow, they're returning three defensive starters. They're returning basically almost no one. 
yes, their players probably do have uh, some playing experience, but it's hard to work a bunch of new guys into an offensive and defensive system. Uh, like I said, Oklahoma State probably won't have that good of a year, but I could be wrong. Uh, I like to give Tech a win there too. So conference play, they're already through my eyes. They're three and zero so far. Uh, then they play Colorado at Colorado. Folsom Field's always a tough place to play. Uh, Colorado's given Tech trouble in the past. Uh, they really have. Um, I'm a little nervous about this game. Like the OU Sooner set, OU Sooner fifty six set. Uh, Col- uh, Colorado, they can they can shock some people, and. Um, uh, I'd like to think that Tech can win this game, but there's always room for surprises. I'll give them a win because I really think Tech can pull this off, but there is always room for an upset. And then they go play at Kyle Field. Probably one of the toughest places in the Big 12 to play. Um, A&M, they're returning a bunch of people. And last year, they just kicked our butts. And honestly, guys, I'm a little nervous just because making this video before I see this team actually play, um, I don't know how they're going to do. Preseason, I can see. Before I actually see these guys play, I'd like to think they can go 10-2 and two with losses to A&M and Oklahoma. Because I have so much confidence in the Texas game, it's unbelievable. And if Texas Tech does lose to Texas, I will have so much crow to eat. Just because I'm I'm so pumped for that game already. And it's it's uh, over a month away. But definitely the game I'm looking most forward to seeing. Uh, just because of the, how hyped it's going to be if Texas... Uh, if Texas doesn't lose up till that point, it's going to be like in 08. It's uh, not as not as much as on the line, but Texas will be pretty high up in the rankings. Uh, A&M, they can probably shock us. I know this is a little unorganized, guys. I go from one thing to another, but I'm sorry. Uh, A&M, I wouldn't be surprised if we lose to them. Uh, I'll give a loss there. And then they play against Missouri the week after that at home. Uh, the Jones, Tech plays pretty well there. Um, Missouri, they're predicted to go t- second in the Big 12 uh, North. So, and they're returning eight offensive starters and seven defensive starters. I didn't really get to see Missouri play last year because they didn't play Texas Tech. Um, they did go... They went eight and five. They did go four and four in conference, though. So, I think Tech should win this game. Tech should win this game. Uh, they don't have to play Nebraska this year, so that's that's good. Um, then at Oklahoma, that's that's a loss just because. I mean, talk about not. I, I like to have. I have confidence in this team, but Tech can never win in Norman. No one can win in Norman. It's a. It's the toughest place. Uh, no, second toughest place to play in the Big 12 South. Uh, second to DKR, of course. But Oklahoma, uh, last time we played there, they killed us. But last year when we played them at home, we killed them. So, it's going to be close, but I think Tech will lose. I think Tech will lose. So there's a loss. And that's it for conference. Uh, we're our, wow. Yeah, if I didn't do it, if I did the whole schedule, we'd be past time. But already nine minutes into it, playmakers need to step up. I've already named them. I'll name them again: Baron Batch, Brian Duncan, Alex Torres, Tremaine Swindle, Stephen Sheffield, uh, Lyle Leong, Frank Mitchum. Those, er, not not just the playmakers. Everybody needs to step up to make this season a success. Uh, 15 seconds left. Uh, basically, that's it, guys. So I'll talk to you later. Uh, if anybody wants to give me a call, talk, uh, send me your 
number, I'll give you a call. Anyway, later guys, peace out, take it easy.